Welcome to CES 2019. There's over 4,500 exhibitors here. We're now going to show you some of the highlights. So this is a company called Viar, and we really found them interesting because they make a small device that uses radio waves to be able to determine how many people are in a given location and with a very high precision what they're doing and what their body is doing. A lot of great use cases. One of the most obvious is in retail uh, for knowing where somebody is in a store, tracking people, understanding what they're doing on shelves, what they're moving, similar to what Amazon Go is doing, um, but a lot of technology that's doing very similar um, use cases today are using cameras, using facial recognition. So from a privacy standpoint, this is obviously, obviously a lot better. Also great use cases in office environments for office automation, uh, being able to know how many people are on a floor, controlling lighting, controlling the air conditioning, um, and then in an emergency, being able to know exactly how many people are on a floor, has somebody gone down. So we've, uh, we've got a team behind us, they're, they're showing how this works, walking around, um, really accurate in what it's doing, great technology that we really love. Hi, we're in the Whirlpool booth with a couple of really exciting examples of how we can take cameras, augmented reality, and artificial intelligence to make everybody a better cook. Thank you, I'd like to introduce the WLAB Smart Countertop Oven. The great thing about this product is we've integrated all that technology to make it easy to cook. First, you'll see that our direction is to place the food item into the oven. After you place the item into the oven, it automatically detects that it's asparagus and that it's fresh. All you have to do is choose your recommended doneness level and start cooking. It's that simple. This product is something that's in pre-order right now, but if we want to take a look at where these sorts of products are going in the future, let's take a look at a concept oven that does even more and more exciting things. This is the Whirlpool Connected Hub Wall Oven concept. You can see on this screen we've already introduced augmented reality to give the consumer confidence on what their products can end up looking like. In addition, we've integrated with the Yumly digital platform that gives you step-by-step -step guidance on how to go through each step within the process. So once we've gotten, gotten started, we'll move through these steps at our own pace. This guidance gives us the ability to do things maybe we've never done, like finely mince fresh herbs. Once we move through all the steps, then we place the item into the oven. We use augmented reality to guide the consumer on where to properly place the salmon within the oven. These great features are all intended to give the consumer more confidence and convenience in creating a great meal for their families. We're here at P&G where they're showcasing how to combine deep science and technology understanding with deep consumer understanding into prototyped experiences. For example, they have this smart mirror and mouse scanner and we're going to talk to one of our P&G representatives about what it does. Can you tell us a bit about the connected mirror that you have on display? Sure, yeah. The connected mirror is something that works in tandem with a concept device we've designed with PNG uh, that analyzes your saliva. You can tell quite a lot about people's health through their saliva. The things that you would expect, such as uh, um, their, uh, whether they're deficient in certain uh, minerals or, or vitamins, but then also whether they're maybe overactive in certain types of hormones, uh, such as uh, cortisol. So for cortisol, I, it's a really good indicator of whether somebody is stressed or not. Um, but, but rather than just tell somebody, a regular consumer, that you know, you're stressed, your cortisol level is quite high, I can actually correlate that data uh, with other types of metrics that we record uh, for, uh, people through um, uh, their daily day-to-day -day life. So you've been spending in the same period a little bit more time at work than you're usually used to. And in the same period, you uh, are um, uh, having quite a disturbed sleep pattern. Um, so, so this verifies the fact that your cortisol would be high. Right. I can then make some suggestions to you um, about uh, how you might correct that. So maybe go to bed at nine tonight instead of your usual time. Uh, maybe I could add in some suggested items to your shopping list that may uh, give you a, a little bit of boost to your iron, which helps stabilize your mood. Um, but the idea is that the, the mirror isn't uh, overtaking your life, um, it is just making some gentle nudges and suggestions that help you optimize it. Great. 
Okay, we're here at the Orcam booth to check out the MyMe. It's a wearable personal AI. Uh, what this thing is, is it's a camera that uses facial recognition to track everyone you come into contact with throughout your day. Uh, and can you tell us a little bit about the app that comes with it? Yeah, so the Orcam MyMe companion app is essentially like a personal assistant. It logs who I recognize and who I don't recognize. And then I can actually go in and input data about the people that I don't recognize and add them into my Orcam MyMe app as a new contact. And then the next time I see them, I'll get a notification that I know this person, their contact information, what I know about them, and that's pretty much it. Oh, that's really cool. And I think this something like this would be great for a networking event or maybe a dating event yeah. where you've opted in and you want facial recognition for everyone you come into contact with. You don't have to collect a bunch of business cards. You can just go into the app and uh, log everyone you met. Exactly. That's great. I love it. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Thanks. Thank you. So here we are with Pivot. And Pivot, which is a smoking cessation service, is interesting for two reasons. One of them is the model of interaction with users. It is a, it is a coaching model but it relies on novel data from this device that you breathe into that tells you how much carbon monoxide is in your lungs and lets you see the effect of reducing smoking on your body day after day as you work, progress through the process. The other interesting aspect is the business model. Although this is a consumer product and packaged as such, it is sold to enterprise. A, a worker that smokes costs companies in the US typically $7,000 a year more in healthcare costs. And so companies can offer for 595 and offer their staff the ability to have one year's access to the program and the device that they use privately without sharing any data with the employer and participation in that program is enough to allow uh, an employee to, re to not to have to pay the extra premium on their health care that comes from smoking. Hi, I'm here with Megan at Nanit um, looking at their unique baby monitoring. The thing that's really interesting about Nanit is they're embodying our new trend of pixel to data, essentially taking things that are coming in through computer vision and translating data out of that that can be used in meaningful ways. Megan, can you tell us more about this? Absolutely. So what's great about Nanit is we're using computer vision to give mom and dad sleep coaching tips. So it's taking that all that information of how baby is sleeping and giving them information and tips and tricks on how they can help improve baby's night. So in here you can see some of these, the different achievements as, the, as you achieve that goal. And what I love most about it is this dashboard that you get in the morning that shows you a recap of the night. So how long it took your baby to fall asleep, the amount of time they slept, and then gives you a beautiful recap video in the morning of exactly how that went and you can see the overview. Sorry. Can you talk to us a little bit about the camera and how that's sensing the baby's breathing? Yeah, so we're using computer vision and it's gonna track this pattern on the swaddle. So our camera is trained to look at this swaddle and track that movement of breathing and then let parents know if after 15 seconds we haven't seen any activity, we'll send you an alert to go check your baby. So no, no electronics on baby, it's just a simple soft fabric, but all through the camera tracking. Great. Uh, I'm standing in front of Care OS, which is effectively an operating system for the bathroom, and it has a lot of really interesting tangents and possibilities that point to potential future uses of personal data and communication. Uh, what I think is most interesting about this product is the ability to effectively teleconference with a cosmetologist or a personal trainer or somebody who you want to make a direct connection with who can help you improve your life and give you actionable steps to increase your effectiveness of your makeup regime, for example. Um, so as you can see here, there's a camera up in the top, very covertly and tastefully hidden away, that turns this into a, not just an interactive surface, but also effectively a telepresence and teleconferencing system. And all of the different smart devices in the bathroom can contribute their data uh, to be harnessed for personal improvement, but what I also find is uh, intriguing about this product is that they provide data sovereignty to the end user, allowing you to specify in a really granular way what kinds of data and how much data you're going to share with third parties, such as a personal trainer or a physician, for example, so that they can get a continuous uh, read on your biometrics and get a cadence of bio data that's more frequent than just once a year when you visit your doctor, for example. So that's just a few of the many interesting things we've seen at CES. 
there are some key ideas emerging. Trust and privacy in the handling of data, especially when you're collecting it, has become really important. Voices everywhere, both collecting it and responding to it with a smart assistant. The way that pixels and audio are being taken in from sensors and data is coming out, actionable recommendation and delegation is happening. Then there's brand extension to service and tech from the traditional players, leading to deeper relationships with the customer. And of course, as always at CES, it's about the progression of tech. We start with a gadget, we go to recommendation, we go to personalization, and ultimately we arrive at delegation. And those are some of the things we've been seeing at CES 2019.